how to create a task in clicker for new element of form submission automatically so a lot of people do not want to log in into their project management software in order to create and assign the task to their team they want that it should be automated with the help of form submission so that whenever they submit the form the task should be created and assigned automatically into their project management software and in this video i am going to create the very same automation using element of forms and click up so if you also want to automate the task assigning process via form submission only come with me and i will show you the whole process step by step so I have created this form via Elementor and embedded this form in a random page and as soon as I am going to submit this form with the task name, the description and the due date details, you will see how the task will be created automatically into ClickUp. But before that, I'll have to build a connection in between this particular form and in between ClickUp and I'm going to do that with the help of Babli Connect. It is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect multiple applications and automate your task and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect in your browser okay i will also attach this link into my description box for your reference now if you are a new user of public connect you'll have to sign up for free where you will also get free tasks every month in your account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation well i am already an existing user of public connect so that is why firstly i have clicked on sign in then i have clicked on this pabli connect access now and this is how i have reached to the dashboard of pabli connect now Simply click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide a name, any random name to your workflow to your automation. Okay, so I am pasting the name as automate the task assigning process via Elementor form. Okay, now I will click on create and then you will find two boxes in front of you. So these are actually trigger and action. So trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So whenever this happens, do this. Understand with an example also, let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application, automatically send an email via Gmail application. And according to our use case, whenever Elementor form is submitted, automatically create a task into ClickUp application. Okay, so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation. Okay, and in this case, I'm building this automation in between Elementor forms uh, application and in between ClickUp application okay so that is why i am going to select these two application and i'm going to connect these two application with the pabli connect okay so i'm going to do the setup of click up later firstly i'm going to connect element of form with the pabli connect so that firstly we can capture the details of the form submission inside pabli connect for which firstly you'll have to select this trigger event and after that you will find a webhook url and basically with the help of this url only we are going to build a connection in between our Elementor form and in between Pabli Connect and you can also read these instructions for your reference okay so firstly I'll take you to my Elementor form okay so this is the form I am going to edit this particular form and here in this particular section you will find an option of actions after submit okay click on that and then you will have to select the action as the webhook after that you will have to paste the very same webhook URL which you have just received via Pabli Connect okay so let me first copy this webhook URL and paste it here now I will be clicking on this update button okay and this is how the connection in between Elementor form submission and Pabli Connect is done now it is actually waiting for the webhook response okay so you'll have to read the instructions that log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do a submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record okay so I I am going to submit this particular form right in front of you and don't worry I'm going to make a dummy submission okay and you will see how the very same details will be captured via public connect okay so coming back here and let me provide any task name so let's say we need to create video on Google Sheets WhatsApp integration okay I'm providing this particular name to my task okay I want that my team should create a video on this so that is why in the task name I have provided this particular name the task description will be, uh, will be uh, kindly create a video on this for whatsapp you should use interact application okay interact app and the details for the same 
कैन बी फाउंड इन टू द थ्रेड इन टू द थ्रेड ओके सो ज्यूम दैट आई एम गोइंग टू आई वॉन्ट टू असाइन दिस पर्टिकुलर टास्क टू माई टीम सो आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड द डिस्क्रिप्शन एज वेल एंड द ड्यू डेट सो लेट से आई विल प्रोवाइड आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग द डेट एज द फ्राइडे बेसिकली द थर्ड ऑफ मार्च ओके एंड आई वॉन्ट ऑन द सबमिशन ऑफ दिस फॉर्म द टास्क शुड बी क्रिएटेड ऑटोमेटिकली सो दैट आई डू नॉट हैव टू इवन लॉग इन इन टू दिस क्लिक अप सॉफ्टवेयर द टास्क क्रिएशन प्रोसेस शुड बी मैनेज वाई आर द फॉर्म सबमिशन ओनली बेसिकली by submitting this form okay clicking on this button create a task and the form will be submitted now i will have to wait for that response basically the form response data okay and here you can see the response is received immediately because this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data basically it works instantly okay and let me show you the details one by one so here you can see the form name was new new form okay form id is this the task name is the same okay so basically i have added three fields inside my form and here you can see i have the data of all those three fields okay so i have the task name the date and the description now i want to create this task into the clickup software so that is why i am going to first connect clickup with pabli connect just like i have connected element of form submission with the pabli connect okay i am choosing this uh, create task action even clicking on connect then i am going to click on add a new connection and in the api key again you will have to read the instructions log into your clickup account click on the profile icon at the top left corner and go to the apps you can find the api key okay so this is my clickups dashboard this is the profile section here you can find the application section and after clicking on that you will have to you can actually find your api token from here simply copy this api key coming back to pabli connect paste to the same here click on save and this is how clickup will be connected with pabli connect now Firstly it will ask you to select the workspace the space the folder name the list name and the task name okay so we are going to fill these details one by one asking for the workspace so i just have a single workspace only into my clickup so i have selected the same asking for the space to be select so here let me show you that how many spaces are actually available inside my clickup task so here you can see i have multiple spaces the first one is the connect then pabli then we have okay let me show you then we have the modifications junk and space okay so currently i want that all the tasks should be created inside the pabli workspace okay so that is why i am going to select the very same workspace basically the space asking for the folder name so again we are going to create the video so how about i create my task into this pabli connect only okay basically i am going to create all the task in the pabli connect only coming back here and let me again select the same that is pabli connect lastly it is asking to select the list name so how many list i have inside this particular uh, folder okay so i have this integration issue okay so again i am going to select the same i think i have selected all the details finally it is asking for the task name the description assign id tags and other details okay so from where i am going to add this data i have received this data from the previous step and i don't even need to copy manually this data and paste it here okay basically i am going to map this data here and mapping is very simple inside pabli connect simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down and from here exactly i am going to provide i am going to map the task name okay so i have mapped it what is this mapping i'll show you i'll explain you later okay asking for the description so i have this description as kindly create a video on this for for whatsapp you should you should use okay the spelling is not correct i'm sorry for that you should use interact app and the details for the same can be found into the thread okay asking for the assign assignee id so assume that all these tasks i want to assign to the gary monro only so i will be selecting this particular assignee id okay now it is asking for the tags the priority well priority is not urgent for such type of task so i will keep it as the normal only and this is something important that uh, at what particular time this task 
should be finished okay so it is asking to provide the due date and the interesting thing is that it is asking to provide the date into the timestamp in milliseconds okay so from where i will get this detail well i already have the date that is 202333 but this particular date is not actually into the timestamp milliseconds format okay so firstly i'll have to convert this particular date into the specified format and then only i will be able to map this data okay so before this the click up step you'll have to introduce you'll have to add one more extra step and with the help of date and time format a feature of pably connect we are going to do the conversion in between dates okay so select this format date with the time zone into the action even click on connect and it will be connected immediately now it will ask you to provide the date which you would like to format okay so i would like to format which particular date which i have received via form submission and what should be what is the form format so the current format is yyyy mmdd okay so let me select the same here is that format yyyy mmdd asking for the two format well i want this date into the milliseconds so i will be selecting directly this particular form format only that is time stamp in millisecond asking for the from time zone and the two time zone okay so from time zone is also the asia kolkata so i will be selecting the same and in the two time zone also i am going to select this asia and kolkata only since i am from india and i will be selecting the same and finally i'll click on this button save and send test request and you will see it will provide me the date into this time stamp format for which clipcup is actually looking for okay so scrolling down and i am going to map this particular date and time here but when i'll click on this particular field this most recent data is not visible so what i can do is i can save this particular step randomly okay so that the new data will be fetched up automatically basically this automation has been refreshed now okay okay let me delete this random text and here you can see now i am able to access the above data let me map the due date this new date okay finally i have provided all the necessary all the important information which are actually required for creating a task clicking on this button save and send test request and wait for that task to be created automatically and here you can see right in front of you the task has been created automatically and immediately and in real time let me show you the details we need to create a video on google sheets and whatsapp integration and here you can see the date is also the same that is friday let me open that and here you can see the date is actually the 3rd march only all right and if i will click on this particular task you will also find the description for the same and it is the same description kindly create a video on this for whatsapp you should use it should be use okay you should use interact application and here we have the assignee as the gary monro and the pro priority as the normal okay so this is how now onwards every time you are going to submit your elementor form the task will be created automatically inside clickup and for that you'll have to create this automation inside pably connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pably connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay simply close pably connect and just in case if you want to access this automation i am also going to attach the shareable link of my workflow into the description box simply click on this link and sign up into the pably connect and you will be able to access the very same workflow inside your pably connect account also that too free and lastly i would like to tell you one more very important thing that is whatever the details we have mapped here will be replaced automatically when this automation will work will work in real time so what will happen these details these new details will replace the existing values because we have mapped this data okay and this that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and with the help of mapping only this automation is going to take place not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video